Well, brother, I'm, I'm going to exhort you to remember. Amen. Remember these things. We're not always going to be in a situation where it looks like we can talk about how we are the bride of Christ and that God's kindness is on us, but there's going to come times where it just doesn't seem like that. We not be able to see it very clearly, but we can re we, we can be forward to remember. We, <clears throat> we can take a hold of these things and keep them as we leave, as we go to work, as we go to do the things that we have to do. You know, it'd be nice for us to be in this um, circumstance all the time where we get to build one another up and, and hold one another up, but we're not always going to be in this circumstance. So I exhort you to remember this because there is going to come a time where we're no longer going to have to go out. There's going to, and they, so we're going to, we all remember that we're in Christ we are going to overcome. Remember that we are now in heavenly places, but we will be in heavenly places. We, now, spiritually, we are in heavenly places, but we're going to be there, and we're not going to have to go out anymore. So do not forget that God, is, he, he is preparing us to fit into these heavenly places. He's doing this work. God wants us to make it. He's on our side. He, gave, he created us. Now, this is something crazy to think about, but you were nothing before, and now you are something. What, are, what is that something for? It's to be with God, to be, to, to, to be with him, to know him. That's what we are made for. So let us focus on not ourselves, but on God who made us. I've had some of my worst troubles is when I was focused on myself and on my circumstance. I was not focused on who I am in Christ Jesus, that I'm a king and priest. I was not focused on where I was going and that this time is only a time. This time, there is, we're, we're coming to an end here. See, this, people that live in the world and they don't have God in their mind, they forget that this time is going to come to an end. That as they give themselves to, to evil and to sin, that's going to come to an end. So something that they, they don't think about because it's not good to think about for them, it just brings terror for us, it brings joy to think about the Lord's preparing us to, to fit into his kingdom. God get, and see, God's getting glory for this. He hasn't taken us out of the battlefield because this is where we can, as we live for him and we, we live for, uh, for the Lord to, and do right and live holy in the battlefield. This is... I don't know if it sinks into us that when we, we just, when we push away sin and we live righteous and holy, this is not a small work. God has done a great work in us when we deny, when we, we love his ways and we love his, we want to be holy just as he is holy. That's a great work in us. So God gets glory for this. Remember that we are the sons of God. Sin may not, it may look like it's having its way, and it, it is having its way to a, to a degree, but it's under control. Because God, when God said, see, Jesus Christ has already done, he's already defeated this. So when God says, there's going to come a time when he said, enough, that's what is going to stop. We can rejoice in that. We can think about that, that God, God is, this is all, all in control of his hands. Remember, now remember if, if this battlefield ever becomes too hard to, to get a grip on, remember Job. Remember in uh, Job 1.10, it was God who said, hast thou considered my, my Job, have you, have you considered him? It was God that brought him up. Job didn't see that. We can't see everything that's going on either with us. Sometimes things get overwhelming. Remember, it's God. He's the one doing this for his purpose. And then Satan is an accuser. The first thing he says, Hast thou might not made a hedge about him? In Job 1.10, the first thing he did is accuse God. See, now we can live in such a way that can get, bring God glory. Yes. And God can, use, God can use us in the same way. Has thou not considered Brother Aaron? 
And it may seem like Brother Aaron's going through a lot of trials. Brother Bob, Brother Given. How's that dog considered Brother, Brother Given? Oh, yeah? Well, let me have my way with him. See? When we're going through trials like Brother Given and Brother Bob just went through, they can bring glory to God. Right. Instead of focusing on themselves, they were able to continue to think about the Lord and to continue to do the ministry of the Lord and be a benefit to God and His people. See? Amen. Remember that we will be perfect in that day. <clears throat> that day. Yeah. See, when you're having troubles, think of that day. Amen. When God's going to bring an end to this and that you're going to be able to be seen for who you really are. Yeah. As you struggle, as you fight, and as you continue to fight the good fight of faith, there's going to come a, a day, that day. Think about that day. Let us see God as he is. He is kind. And he, he desires to lavish, brother, brother Matt brought up this, lavish his kindness on us. This is the God that we serve. A, he's, he's kind. And he desires to lavish his kindness on us. So God is on our side. He has taken us who were enemies and now he, he has made us to be his bride. Now only God can do this. But this is the God we serve. He is kind. So brother, I open this up to you for any comments.